Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Karen, and welcome back to my channel. Super excited to be working with NARS because they're a company that I have been loving, obsessing over them for a super long time. They have amazing products. I'm sure you guys already know that. So they reached out to me and they want me to share with you guys our personal story of hashtag what makes you blush in lieu of their orgasm blush right here. It's a cult favorite and this color just works on all skin tones. It also makes you look glowy because it has like a natural sheen into it. Without further ado, I'm gonna share my story with you guys. So you know how you're casually sitting on the couch enjoying yourself, flipping through the channels, then you find a show or a movie that you really like. And then your dad so happens to sit next to you casually on the couch. You're polite and then you give each other a glance of acknowledgement. Then all of a sudden, out of absolutely nowhere, a racy scene comes up. I literally feel so weird, I just wanna hide inside a blanket. And then my cheeks turn super flushed, and that is what makes me blush. If you guys have any personal stories, I would really love to hear about it because I think it's always really fun and just to hear what you guys have to say back to me. Without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into the tutorial and show you guys how I created this red, wet, and wild look for this summer. So first things first, we're going to tie up our hair and remove any extra strands that might be blocking our face because now we're going to use Biodermis cleansing water to remove excess dirt so we have a clean palette for our makeup. Another option to cleaning your face before makeup is using a cleansing serum. This particular one was for my glam bag this month and it's really nourishing and it's also a cleanser that doubles as a mask which is always a plus. Next I'm going to moisturize my lips with this lip treatment that's infused with agave and grapeseed oil. If you guys have been following me on Snapchat, this product might look familiar to you. So I've been trying to let my skin breathe more and I've opted out of foundation for a BB cream with a heavy SPF because I've noticed some sun damage on my skin. So I'm trying really hard to maintain the youth of my skin with this product. Now using my favorite Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer by Too Faced, I'm going to apply this all over my face and I love this product because it's infused with coconut water so it leaves my under eyes super hydrated. <laughs> I tested this glossy lid look and noticed that cream shadows are actually the best to work with. And I'm just packing my lids with the color Toi from the Genesiqua Quad. It's really easy, you just kind of mess it around and throw it on there. You don't need to be perfect about it. Now we're onto the part where we're going to fix the harsh edges from before. So just take a clean fluffy brush and start buffing the product in a circular motion towards your brow bone. And then with the Pure Soul Mattes palette, I'm actually going to take the orangey tan color and blending the red out to create a really nice transition shade. You guys know the drill, it's eyeliner time with my favorite Sailor Moon Miracle Romance Liquid Eyeliner. Now to the fun part. So I'm using Milk Makeup's Eye Vinyl and it's basically a lip gloss for your eyelids. The trick is to squeeze a lot out of the tube and gently pat the gel onto your lids so that you're not wiping away the hard work you've just created on your lids. <laughs> then I'm taking any shimmery gold color and I'm going to line my lower lash line just so that it balances the top and the bottom part of my lids. <laughs> Now I'm just going to pump some volume into my lashes using my favorite M Cosmetics mascara. I'm going to apply onto my upper lash line and also my lower lash line and this will help brighten my eyes and make them look bigger. So to pull together this look, I'm applying the star of the show NARS Orgasm Blush to the apples of my cheeks to pull some color back into my complexion. I admit this look is definitely more runway, so I wanted to go all out with this theme and instead of going nude on my lips, I'm going red with this super moisturizing lip crayon. 
And to make my eyes and lips pop even more in a cohesive way, I've added a layer of ultra glossy lip gloss. Finally, I popped on a highlighter called Seashells from Jouer to complement the glossy lids and lips look. And now I'm using this NARS eyeshadow called Cassiopeia. It's a powder eyeshadow and it's going to set the highlight that we've just applied. Now I'm going to take Marc Anthony's Dream Wave Beach Spray and it's just going to create some effortless waves although I don't have any waves it's just going to create some like texture so it looks a little bit more volumized. Going on with the red theme I'm applying Formula X's nail polish in bright red and it's enriched with Shine Excel which is an ingredient that enhances color and shine. And now we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!